This problem is about finding the optimum temperature progression. Let us read the problem. The reversible first order reaction, A giving rise to R with rate R uh, minus R equal to K1 CA minus K2 CR, R is first order, forward and reverse, with rate constant values as a function of temperature are given. And here this E is in joule per mole, which means this is the value of E. So R is also to be used in joule per mole. That is the meaning of this uh, date, uh, statement. Is to be carried out in a plug flow reactor for a maximum permissible feed temperature of 95 degrees Celsius and a feed rate of 1000 mole per minute of reactant A. What is the optimum temperature progression in the plug flow reactor? 80% of 80% uh, conversion of A is expected and the concentration of A in the feed is 4 mole per liter with CR not equal to 0. So only A alone is present, R is initially not there. So we need to find the optimum temperature progression. So before uh, going to the solution, uh, let us see what is expected. So always we want to get this uh, temperature, uh, plot, uh, what is it, XA versus temperature plot. Uh, this is what is called as the equilibrium conversion plot. That is XA E versus temperature. Whereas there are so many other lines drawn. These are all line, uh, nothing but the uh, curves of XA versus temperature for positive rates. Starting from, say uh, we have initially a rate of 0, rate of 0 0.1, 0 0.4, 1, 2, no, so as to cover the entire range of temperature what we are interested. We, we, change, we have this range of temperature so as to cover the inlet feed temperature. Now inlet feed temperature is given which is three, uh, what is it? 95 degrees Celsius. So the operating temperature will be uh, in, uh, starting from this inlet temperature the operating temperature is normally lesser for the uh, reversible exothermic reaction that's why I am covering this range from 270 to say the maximum of 390 Kelvin. So always what, what we are going to do, we want to get the plot of XAE versus temperature first. Then for various rates, we want to get the plot of XA versus T. So what is the need for that? Because we want to get uh, the points or is the locus of these points. These are nothing but the uh, maximum of these rates. So we want to get this line. There is a final one what is called as the optimum temperature progression. So to obtain that what, what we have done. Let us see. So for the reaction this already rate expression is given and uh, we can uh, also write this rate in terms of conversion uh, d minus dCA by dT is equal to uh, of course dCA is equal to CA naught minus CA naught into dxA from which we have uh, dCA by dT is CA naught into dx by dxA by dT and CA is CA naught into 1 minus xA CR equal to CR naught plus CA naught into xA of course R is not there so we have only CA naught xA so now this expression is available in terms of xA C1 uh, sorry xA K1 K2 so K1 K2 already we have the expression in terms of temperature and what are all available so okay we have K1 and K2 as a function of uh, temperature and uh, additionally we, we can also write this uh, xA E from equilibrium conversion as, uh, equilibrium constant as well of course which is not needed now because uh, directly we have this k1 and k2 so that is enough for our problem because uh, this xa e for getting this equilibrium conversion we no need this k1 and k2 values so k1 and k2 so you can rearrange this expression and uh, in, uh, this can be uh, this k1 by k2 is xae by 1, one minus xae uh, otherwise xae can be written xae equal to k1 by k1 plus k2 or we simply rearrange this part of course we need not worry about this capital k which is also coming or is k1 by k2 is also coming as capital k 
so there is there is no need for that simply you can write this xae directly from uh, this values of k1 by k2 so xae equal to k1 by k2 by 1 plus k1 by k2 1 by 1 plus k1 by k2 so from which we have this finite expression so what are all known to us now already we know the expression of k1 as a function of temperature and k2 as a function of temperature so xae as a function of temperature is can be easily obtained additionally what is needed is we want to get or is, what, what is now available is this the data for this uh, curve is ready in addition uh, now we want this graphs generated or is, for every rate we want xa versus t so what what we are going to do again from the rate expression from the rate expression uh, we are rearranging to the form that xa as a function of k1 and k2 for a given rate so now what we are going to do we are fixed we are going to fix this rate to some value say starting from zero already we have this is equilibrium conversion we are going to fix this rate for some positive numbers of course what number to choose this again uh, if we have this uh, excel program readily available we can easily construct a table and uh, take some values of r for each and every r we can get this xa uh, and we can easily make a plot and we can always idea of telling this is we have to choose a rate value so that we are getting a plot like nice plot in the wider range of temperature of course for various range of temperature or uh, for this range of temperature we want to get these plots so initially i am assuming 0.1 so i this nice plot is obtained uh, likewise for other rates we are getting this xa values say k1 k2 we have to obtain how to obtain k1 and k2 we have this expression in this expression r has to be in the units of joule per mole o it is to be because this is given in joule per mole that is the meaning of this statement and uh, temperature has to be in kelvin uh, and so k1 k2 are estimated for a range of temperatures starting from 0 to say 110 degrees celsius or so so for this range of temperature in kelvin i am getting these values of k1 and k2 from the expression of k1 as a function of time and k2 as a function of time then in in this expression what is needed is for rate of 0 already we have obtained for rate of 0.1 uh, choose a value of 0.1 of course ca naught is given and uh, we can get, uh, using this k1 k2 and k1 plus k2 we can get xae so far various values of assumed values of rate so now the plot is obtained or is whatever the data obtained in this table is plotted here of course i have plotted this using ms excel microsoft excel uh, here okay these plots are nicely drawn now so what is needed is we need to find the locus of maxima of these rates so locus of this maxima of these rates so uh, you have to connect or simply make a uh, no, note of this maxima points and simply join them nicely so this is what is giving this is a conversion versus temperature plot so this is a conversion versus temperature data taken from this this blue line this is the, what is the optimum temperature progression starting at the 95 degrees celsius say that is 368 kelvin till uh, always, this line is already drawn and this line is vertical line is drawn and the intersection point from this point onwards there is a reduction of temperature till then we are operating at the maximum temperature why it has to be reduced or is why the temperature has to be reduced then if the temperature is not reduced then the conversion will go down otherwise if you simply operate at this temperature along this temperature uh, isothermally then after this point rate is reducing 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 this ultimately reaching to value of zero whereas we need 
uh, to have higher conversion not only the rate of course rate conversion is also to be here we could uh, if you can keep keep on operate on this temperature line we can reach a conversion even to this level so this optimum temperature progression is uh, the locus of maximum rates for a given conversion otherwise say here we have not a very nice data in what way because uh, suppose you are interested in getting uh, what is the temperature for a conversion of say 0.3 i don't have this data directly from the plot uh, from the this table of course you can interpolate uh, or suppose i am getting interested in getting the value of uh, x a for x a of what is a t for x a of 0.7 what is a t so in that case what we can do again we can go back to the same equation so this equation we can rearrange in such a way that you keep x a as the parameter uh, i keep x a at constant get a relation between r a versus t say so otherwise we are rearranging the equation in such a way that x a is kept constant and for every temperature we have this k1 k2 for that every temperature we are getting rate otherwise at uh, every x a we are getting rate as a function of temperature so this temperature k1 k2 already these values are already available to us and this x a equal to zero that also we can get this uh, rate data calculated simply x a equal to zero means okay we have only k1 c a naught and x a and again we can assume progressively changing or we can have choose this x a at some nice values so for this values of x a we can get the rate calculated and this rate can be plotted as a function of temperature here again the optimum temperature progression is nothing but the maxima of this x a versus rate versus temperature plot so earlier we were having con conversion versus conversion versus temperature plot now this is x a versus temperature plot for various rates now we have rate versus temperature plot for various conversions otherwise this here will be getting nice uh, data or is for in x for a given conversion what is the temperature to be operated whereas that you cannot easily get because we are fixing the rate and we are getting this uh, conversion only from this maxima point so this will be giving some 0.38 so whereas i am interested in getting the temperature corresponding to a value of 0.4 which is not readily available from this this plot okay so that's why we can use the plot of rate versus temperature as a function of rate versus temperature as a with the parameters of converse conversion starting from 0 0.25 so whatever the values you can uh, you are interested you can fix them so this table of course both the things are giving the same line same operating line but only thing is here we can have a control over this conversion uh, we can fix uh, the conversion at some value for that we can get the temperature directly whereas here whatever the conversion uh, is obtained from, uh, whatever the conversion you are getting from this maxima points is alone noted okay good let us again summarize so let us go back to the thing problem so what is given and what is not now what is asked so for the reversible reaction a giving raise to r we were given with uh, expression for k1 and k2 as a function of temperature and we are asked to find the optimum temperature progression with a feed inlet temperature of 95 degrees celsius so starting at 95 degrees celsius we are going till this uh, intersection point from then the temperature is progressively reduced the points are calculated simply from uh, this conversion versus temperature plot for various rates so otherwise the optimum operation temperature is a reducing temperature starting at height starting with high inlet temperature and reducing the temperature and these temperature levels are obtained from this 
conversion versus temperature plot for various rates. Otherwise, you can also get them from rate versus temperature plot for various conversions. Okay, thank you.